Yo, what's going on guys? It is Pwn here. I'm bringing you guys some Call of Duty 4. I'm using a P90 Red Dot site, which ironically is actually going to be the gun of the week dropping on Respawn and maybe even Machinima on Monday. Um, except for it's MW2 and, and many people are like, why Pwn? Why the hell do you ruin this gun with the Red Dot site? I just find accuracy with it. I, I find that it's got that recoil that's hard to maintain and something about the Red Dot site just minds me to, uh, to focus on where I need to get the gun right back to. Um, it's, it's, it's easy to control. I mean, some of the recoil is bad, but sometimes, you know, I, I noticed I could be shooting a guy like three times in a row and the recoil is just fine. There was a little lag right there, guys. And the recoil is just fine. And then sometimes I realize that bitch kicks and just, it's just, ah, I can't stand it. So, uh, I didn't want to talk about how, how much that bitch kicks. Uh, I, I don't want to talk about how I raged right here. What I wanted to talk about is basically, um... Modern Warfare 3, many people are like, Pwn, please make a video for MW3. If you guys want me to uh, research it a little bit and give you my personal thoughts on it, I'll be willing to make that. Let me know down in the description. Just say, yeah, Pwn, I want you to make Modern Warfare 3 and sweet love to me, and I'll go ahead and do it. At least you got to pick and choose which one of those you want, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all right. But when I'm not doing all that, um, I wanted to tell you guys that I don't often research these games. I don't know anything. I like to stay suspenseful. I like to... Uh, I like to not know what's going on. I like it to be mysterious and just a complete new adventure. I don't like to research things, watch videos. You know, people tell me occasionally, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't get mad when I'm like, yeah, this gun's going to be back in the game. I don't get mad at any of that stuff. I just don't go looking for it. Many guys are anticipating it, and I just like the whole fun to be there when I get there. I don't want to see the maps early or anything like that. I just do it like that. But if you guys want me to see it, I will. And uh, what I wanted to talk about real quick, and this is going to be a really question. It's a good question of the day for you guys. Not a goofy one, but this is a real question of the day for you guys. I want you guys down in the, in the uh, little whole little comment box below, list one thing that you would like to add or remove from the Call of Duty thing that you think would actually make the game more fun or more interesting, or even just fix. For example, there are two things that I would like to see fixed. They're not major fixes. I mean, I doubt they'd ever be changed, but hey, that's Call of Duty, our dreams, what we want. Never become reality. So if I want a dream, I want unicorns. You could ride your ass and throw water balloons. And um, No, but in all seriousness... I'd like to see them completely and entirely take out the noob tubing system. Um, I don't know if it was from the torment they put me through in MW2, but when I get noob tubed, no matter if it's Black Ops, one time I get pissed. I hate noob tubing, and they fucked it all up. I mean, they gave them two of them. Not just one noob tube. I mean, even if they took one noob tube out, I would have been that much more happier. If they got rid of one man army and, and, and just gave them one noob tube, that would actually be a decent fix for me. Um, but I'd like to see them take it out entirely. When somebody RPGs me or AT4s me or something like that, I don't get mad. I don't think running around with an explosive is fair combat. That's just my personal opinion on it. I mean, it's useful in, like, real combat, but we all know this game's not realistic. And uh, as long as we're going along the lines of it not being realistic, I don't think somebody should be able to have that attachment openly to have. Or, or they don't get it until, like, the level 50, and then they got to debate whether or not they want to keep being a douchebag or if they want to go ahead and prestige. But... I, I love the perk system. I love the perks. Um, you know, I don't mind some of them. There's always one shitty perk. I think they could remove Last Stand entirely because it's very unrealistic. I mean, if it's like you only got to kill him. Like in COD, COD 4, I think it was this one right here. When you shot a guy in the Last Stand, he pulled out his pistol, and you barely tapped him with one extra bullet, he died. But I found in Black Ops, when he went into Last Stand, you had to kill him all over again. And he had a chance to kill you and be revived. That's just one of the most unfair perks in the game. It's super unrealistic. If a guy gets shot enough to die... And he's still alive. That's one one bitter thing. I mean, if you left him in last stand for him to maybe be revived without any guns, that's a great idea. But anything else is just crazy. But one thing that I would like to see fixed is maybe the melee system. Many people have bitched about commando and knife lunges. What if they took the knife out? What if? What if the knife was completely removed? Because many, many of the games that you guys have seen before, Halo's pretty decent with it. Many of the other, like, old school shooter games... They, they whack you with the back of the gun. They, they, they'd hit you with an elbow or punch you in the face. Those kind of things, they, they don't really have that, that panic knife thing, that lunge thing. When they whacked you, they whacked you. You had to basically be groping their leg. You had to be close to the guys to actually get a kill. And that's one thing that I really did enjoy about some of those games. If they were to incorporate that into Call of Duty, it, that game would just it'd just be amazing. I love the knifing, and that is what has been in all the Call of Duty, so I don't think it would be changed. It's just if they were willing to incorporate that in there and, and not have to worry about lunging or knifing or anything like that. I'm not saying it has to be a two hit. I'm just saying because when people actually made that in as like the melee system into their game, they really had to be close to them for them to kill them. And that's what I really enjoyed about it. So leave your comments below, guys. Let me know what you guys honestly think about what they could do, fix, change, add in, remove from Call of Duty, and make it a great game. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, guys. Look forward to another one later on tonight. Thanks for all the love. Get it with my penis.